Wow, really? Really? Do you have a question you would like to ask for the video? Hi guys, it's Adria, and for today's video, I am doing another Ask Adria video. I asked you guys over on Instagram and Twitter to ask me some questions. I'm going to answer them today. And yes, I have a panda band-aid on my finger. Thank you, Nana, for mailing me panda band-aids. Only my Nana would do that. She also sent me kitten ones, too. Like, I just... Why is my Nana so cute? Let's get into the questions. I think I'm going to start off on Twitter. Let's see what you guys had to say. Rachel at Adria's Panda Hugs asks, are you gonna take Brandon's last name or keep yours? That's a good question. Nobody's asked me this. I am gonna take Brandon's last name. He actually wanted to take mine because, come on, I do have a pretty cool last name. I mean, and Brandon's is the most generic of generic last names. Smith. That's why my whole family thought he was fake when I first met him online. Yeah, I guess I will be Adria Smith and that'll be really weird. Adria's Bay at Adria K is Queen, aka Mackenzie, my girl. I love you. What was your first impression of Brandon? <laughs> My first impression of Brandon was that he was very weird. I didn't even know what he looked like because all of his selfies were like, he was so entertaining to me. I don't know, like we would just talk back and forth, like making jokes and just being funny. Yeah, I just, I thought he was funny. He was ridiculous. On my sister's 16th birthday, he took a water balloon full of ketchup and water and splatted it in his face and put a cupcake on his face. So I thought he was crazy and ridiculous, but I loved it. Hannah at HanRolf17 asks, what's the weirdest thing that a subscriber has ever sent slash said to you? Somebody asked me if I would sell a pair of my I use socks like a pair of white socks I'm like um no I don't really want to send you my used socks sorry I don't <laughs> like no Danielle at cherry pies says I don't have a question but am I cool enough to be in your video yes Lauren W at Lauren W 421 asks if someone was creating a movie about your life what famous actress slash actor would you pick to play you and Brandon love you that's a very interesting question I think Scarlett Johansson could play me I think that would be a very very flattering pick. Who would play Brandon? Uh -huh. James Franco. <laughs> you know, oh, you know, I would want Zach Galifianakis to play Brandon. I know he doesn't really look like him, but I just think that would be funny. Wow, do you hear my toilet? Annie asks, what was your dream job when you were little? Panda hugs. Panda hugs, Annie. And I love the little elephant next to your name. My dream job when I was little, I wanted to be like an author and illustrator. I spent like all my free time as a kid writing and illustrating books. If I ever find them one day, I will share them with you guys. I probably wrote like a dozen books and illustrated them. That was my childhood. I loved it. I also wanted to be a veterinarian, but that has since changed. I don't think I could like give animals needles and ugh. Lucy asks, what's been the best day of your life so far? I don't know. There will be like a really good day and be like, oh, this is the best day ever, but I think that happens a lot. One of the best days ever was probably when I flew to Florida and meet Brandon. I don't know, that was just such an adventurous day. It was so different from anything I had ever done. Jocelyn at I'm My Own Bay. I like your username. What's your favorite thing about fall? My favorite thing about fall, which I unfortunately don't get to experience in Florida, is the changing of the leaves. Just how colorful it gets outside. Oh my gosh, like girl. Florida is just like one continued state of summer. The entire year and it gets kind of depressing. I don't know. I loved growing up in the Northeast where the seasons, which it was like a refreshing change of scenery. It was almost like going on vacation, but you didn't have to leave. This is a good one. Zoe at Zoe Husick. What would you do if somebody was saying stuff behind your back and they were supposed to be your friend? This has happened to me before. I don't want to say like, let it go, but like seriously, stuff like that is so unimportant at the end of the day, in my family, like, if I would be, like, talking bad about my mom to my nana, you know, like, if I had a fight with my mom, they would always say, like, don't talk about them unless they're here to defend themselves, so I really kind of stick with that. I really don't feel good about talking about somebody unless they're there to defend themselves. If a friend can do that to you, they're not really a good friend. Nobody is loyal anymore. That's what I'm saying. Hannah Miller asks, how often do you run into fans? By the way, I love you so much. I love you too, girl. It has happened on two different occasions. That's it. I don't really go out all that much. So, <laughs> Adria's Bay, Adria's K is Queen, came back with another question. What is your favorite part about being part of a community like YouTube? Oh my gosh, I thought there was a bug on my bed. I watch YouTubers that I don't even necessarily like share interests with. Like, I watch videos that you wouldn't even expect me to watch. I just like supporting people and I like like, just seeing other people's points of view and I love how it's so not professional. <laughs> I mean like 
it doesn't feel like watching TV. Like, it literally just feels like you're watching somebody in their room, which is essentially what you're doing. Kels Kitten asks, have you ever perioded <laughs> on a school's chair? Yes, I did. And people gave me a lot of crap for that. It was, <laughs> it's so gross. It wasn't like a puddle, but it was kind of just like when you like have something on your pants and then you sit on something, it kind of makes just like a, almost like a light little stamp of it. You know what I mean? Where it's not like soaked. I did try to wipe it off with my sleeve, which is also really gross, but girl, if you ever get it on the chair, please like wipe it. If you have like hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Brown at Brown PLL asks, do you think you will ever move back to PA? Thank you again for making my birthday great. Love you. I love you too, Bobby, and I'm sorry I didn't get to give you a shout out on your birthday. I just had already had my videos filmed and I was like, oh, but I'm glad that I got to sing you happy birthday on you now. My goal is to move back to Pennsylvania eventually. I am pretty homesick. I mean, I don't know. When you've grown up somewhere and lived there your entire life, it's kind of hard to just move away. And I've talked to other people that live in PA who were like, oh, like I moved to Florida. I don't know how you stay there so long. Like it's just, I talked to my mom yesterday and she said she was freezing and was like bundled up and like blasting her heat. And I'm just sitting over here in like shorts with my AC on and I'm just like, mm. <laughs> So now I'm gonna head over to Instagram. And uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just don't be a sad panda. And yeah, let's go over there. <laughs> Kaylee Collins asks me, what is my biggest regret? That is a really good Good question. I think I regret a lot of my teenage years. I was very negative. I just like to complain about everything. I mean, even when I go back and watch my old videos, I'm just like cringing. I'm just like, who is this person? It just seemed like I wasn't happy with myself or with life and just found anything to complain about. I used to be so picky about food and would like freak out about, I mean, my mom would be like, oh guys, we're going out to eat for dinner, which nowadays I'm like, yes, please. Back then I would like throw a tantrum throw a fit. I don't want to go out to eat. I'm not going to eat anything. I was just a little brat when I was little and I feel like I really regret that. I wish I would have appreciated being a kid and just having fun and let loose. I was so uptight and took everything so seriously. One time my mom made us burgers for dinner and she put ketchup on mine. First of all, I love ketchup, <laughs> but back then I didn't really like ketchup. I just threw the biggest fit. I was just crying and screaming and complaining that I didn't want ketchup on my burger. And my brother like recorded it on his phone, like an audio recording. And it's still, it still exists somewhere. I don't have it, but it was that ridiculous that he's like, I'm going to audio record this. I, honestly, like my mom could spit in my burger now and I would probably still eat it. Like that's how much I just don't care. I know it was my anxiety. I was just, I don't know. I was a very, very, very uptight person. Mariah asked, who inspired you to start YouTube? I think Trisha Paytas inspired me to start YouTube. I don't know, I just liked how it just felt like it was her life and it was just, you know, open and raw and just, this is me, this is what I'm doing. There was a lot of love, hate around her, but I just, I love her. I think she's a doll and I would love to meet her one day. Seriously, girl, if you're ever in Orlando, hit me up. Jordan Ray Martin asks, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? I love you so much. I love you too. I've said Italy before. I'd really want to go to Italy, but I think also Japan. Sunflower asks, can you please follow me because I love you and you're my mom. Sure, girl. Anyone who calls me mom, like, you're okay in my book. Your account's private, but I requested it. Miranda asks, do you plan on going to college or taking any classes? I don't know. That's like a thing. I've never completely ruled it out. I've never been like, I'm never going to college, but I've also never been like, I'm 100% going to college. To me, it's kind of just been on like a teeter-totter. If I feel compelled to do it one day, I'll do it. Because I've heard so many stories about people saying like, this is why I dropped out. I mean, I've seen people succeed in life with like dropping out of high school. I think if you really put your mind to something, it doesn't really matter if you have a degree in it or not. Lemon Tea Charm asks, what's your biggest fear? Rate my account from 1 to 10. I rate your account a 10 because I mean like look at all her stuff. That is so cute. What's my biggest fear? fear. I've said before I'm afraid of being kidnapped, but I mean other than that, I'm really afraid of like masks. Oh, I'm triggered. <laughs> Ken's Bainton asks, would you rather have grown up with the childhood you had or would you rather have had a picture perfect life? I love you so much. I love you too. Um, I think about sometimes if I had grown up like in a different dynamic or if I had grown up with like my parents being married. I do kind of wish that it had been a little bit better. I don't really talk much about it, but I mean it wasn't the worst, but it also wasn't 
the greatest. I do think it has turned me into the person I am. I think everybody kind of says that. But at the same time, you can't help but wonder, like, would my life have been easier? Would I be a better person? Would I be, like, farther in life? What if, what if, what if? I got what I got, and I'm trying to make the best of it now, I guess. <laughs> and there's a little fly buzzing around. I want to kill it. <sighs> Fangirly asks, are you secretly a potato in disguise? Yes. <laughs> Bell 2020 says, if you could have the title of any TV show character, who would it be? I'd want to be Hannah Montana. <laughs> Why Beza 16 asks, if you could be rich, but you had to kill someone you love, would you? I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, even killing somebody I don't know or don't like, I mean, it's just like, then I would just feel guilty. I'm such a, this fly in my face. I'm such a guilt-driven person. I can't do anything without feeling guilty. I literally can't even, like, eat the last cookie in a box without feeling guilty. Like, oh, what if somebody else wanted that? Alex Tillerly asks, how old were you when you stopped sleeping with stuffed animals? Funny you should ask. I actually still sleep with my stuffed dog named Jet. I've slept with him since, like, 2000 or 2001. I don't know. I've had him forever. I even took him to show and tell in first grade, if that gives you any idea of how long I've had him. He's kind of like my boss body pillow at this point. I love him. Why Beza also asks, how do you feel about Trash, the collab channel? Who's your favorite person in Trash? I like Trash. I think Trash is cool. My favorite person is obviously Colin because Colin and I go back a little bit. I think somebody even asked me on Twitter like how I met him. I couldn't find that tweet though because I did want to answer that. But Colin's mom actually sent me an email a few years ago and I know that's like, wait, what? But uh, she sent me an email like saying how much Colin loved my videos, how much it inspired him. I mean, this this is a few years ago, so Colin was probably still in her womb, so <laughs> he's awesome. I love him. I hope I get to meet him someday. He wants to make me corrupt because I don't cuss on my channel all that much, so he like wants to make me corrupt and I want to turn him into an innocent little angel. Hopefully that happens someday. <laughs> Annie Mill XO asks, what's your biggest advice for someone starting a YouTube channel? By the way, I love you so much. I love you too. My biggest advice is just to be consistent with it. It doesn't matter what it's about, the quality or anything, just being consistent and just being true to yourself. That's really my best advice. You will enjoy it the most that way. So this is going to be the last question for the day and it's from Ashley Celeste and she says, what is your biggest achievement so far and what is something you want to accomplish in the future? I feel like for me, one of my biggest accomplishments accomplishments in life was going to my high school because that was just something from even being in elementary school I was just so afraid of my high school I didn't ever want to go there and I think bringing myself to go and making the decision for myself to go because I felt like it would be best for me I think that was really a huge accomplishment in my life and though it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do even though it doesn't sound like that big of a deal to other people and people are probably like what just making that accomplishment for myself and making it happen because I wanted to graduate from my high school like I just wanted to graduate from it that was like my goal and I just wanted it to happen and you know I made it happen for myself and something I want to accomplish in the future is to drive maybe you don't know that about me but I don't drive I really really don't like driving I have driven in the past I had my permit for a while for me it's just I don't know I I feel so panicked sometimes I like blank and I forget which pedal does what I mean I Oh, I need to make a video about all the times I've almost killed myself and or other people while behind the wheel of a car. I mean, like, I just... Ugh. So that's all I have time for for today. Unfortunately, I wish I could answer literally all of them, but this video would be like three hours long. But uh, I will do another Ask Adria again soon, hopefully within the next month. I know it's been a little bit since I've done it. Make sure to go follow me on all my social media in case I want to do one again. And sometimes I do Snapchat Q&As where you guys can send me videos and I'll like, you know, put your little face on the camera, you know, because you'll like, yeah, and you'll be like, yeah, like there you are. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I post videos three times a week. Comment down below what videos of mine you want to see more of in the future. Do you want to see more makeup, stories, Q and A's, get ready with me, anything. Even if it's stuff I've never done before, I'm always open to do new stuff. Yeah, I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, Panda Hugs, I love you guys. Bye!